Siachen Miracle remains the top focus here on our first up as the entire nation is praying for the speedy recovery of brave hard Lance Naik Hanumanthappa. The miracle survivor continues to be in a state of coma at Army's RR Hospital in the national capital. According to doctors, he has pneumonia with the liver and kidney dysfunction. He has a low blood pressure, but fortunately there is no cold exposure related frostbite and no bone injuries also. The soldier has been put on a ventilator and remains extremely critical. The doctors expect the next 24 to 48 hours to be crucial for his recovery. A team of cardiologists and neurosurgeons are examining him. Meanwhile, the family of the Braveheart has reached Delhi. The family described his miraculous survival as a rebirth for all of them. They also express a gratitude to Prime Minister Modi. Soon after the Braveheart was brought to Delhi yesterday, Prime Minister Modi and the Army Chief we visited the hospital, RR hospital, to meet Lance Naik Hanumanthappa. Prime Minister Modi called the Siachen survivor an outstanding soldier whose endurance and indomitable spirit cannot be described in words. Modi Auro, Elruno, praise Madidare, outstanding soldier, and Sakari Dare, and again unsteady. Tumakushak, the very Logi Arno, the Jivan, and the Red and the Temple. Or give us the words, live and healthy Ramada. Tumba tanks on the earth. Namatama Matha, who do not have the Madama. The daughter of the Sagas, the Madama. The letter is a Editor Shiva Rule gets us this look on the brave soldier's heroic life so far. Uh, if you actually look at the life that this Lance Nayak has lived so far in the army, it's not very surprising. He's been in the army for 13 years and 10 of those years have actually been spent heroically in the most difficult areas in the country. He joined the army infantry, the Madras Regiment, 19 Madras is his unit uh, in 2002. We're calling him the Miracle Jawan because between 2003 and 2006, he spent three years in the toughest counter-terror operations in Jammu and Kashmir. After that, he was in another posting. 2008, he chose to go back. In 2008, he joined the Rashtra Rifles. The Madras Regiment was in Jammu and Kashmir where he resumed counter-terror operations in Jammu and Kashmir. Not to be dulled even for a moment. In 2010, without a break, he was deployed in the Northeast where he spent two years there fighting uh, insurgents and terrorists in the Northeast. In August 2015, he was deployed at the Siachen Glacier. He showed a huge physical acumen during his high-altitude training and he was deployed at the Glacier. And in December 2015, as a result, of absolutely amazing performance during uh, you know the training rituals and uh, the, the things that are gone through before people are handpicked he was specifically chosen for the super high altitude posting where that avalanche actually happened a few days ago so out of 13 years in the army 10 years in the most difficult areas not really surprising anymore As the miracle soldier Anumantapa fights for his life, India today goes to the ground zero in Siachen, the glacier to get you the exclusive details about Army's heroism. India today's Jugal Purohit gets you this exclusive ground report from the Siachen glacier. <laughs> As miracle soldier Lance Nayak Hanumanthappa fights for his life in Delhi, there is not a moment to pause on the glacier that was his home for six long months. The world's highest battlefield, which claimed nine of Hanumanthappa's comrades, in its freezing grasp never sleeps and there's no sleep for those who patrol her icy infiniteness. Hours after Lance Nayak Hanumanthappa was airlifted to Delhi, 
India Today's Jugal Purohit got onto an army chopper to visit the miracle site at 20,000 feet. From approximately 11,500 feet, we will be climbing towards the Siachen base camp located at about 13,000 feet. That's the first step on our journey to the world's highest battlefield. There are no breaks on the Siachen glacier. Here, our crew spots an army patrol doggedly going about its astonishingly difficult duty. The snow-blown army camps bunk down for the last fierceness of winter to weather that won't be any less forgiving. In just minutes, the weather deteriorates as it did during the miracle rescue, with visibility dipping close to zero and a blizzard closing quickly into the army chopper's flight path, forcing a turn. India today's sojourn into airspace over the glacier makes it simple and pure like the air over Siachen. Over here, duty never stops. In our journey, we started at mean sea level and went up to heights of over 21,000 feet. In doing so, in this limited duration, we've actually broken some of the rules of engagement, or so they tell us. Nevertheless, at the end of this journey, what we can tell you is yes, Siachen is a place where we shouldn't have been. But given the reality of the times that we live in, and of course the neighborhood, it is a place where we couldn't have not been. With camera person Vinod Kumar, this is Jugal Purohit signing off from Leh. While uh, Lance Naik Hanumantapa survived the Siachen avalanche, nine of his colleagues did not make it. India salutes the nine martyrs who laid down their lives in the duty for the country. The Indian Army martyrs include Subedar Nagesha, Havildar Elumalai, Havildar S. Kumar, Sepoy Ganeshan, Sepoy Mushtaq Ahmed, Sepoy Mahesha, Lance Naik Sudhish, Sepoy Suryavanshi, and Sepoy Ramamurthy. India will forever be indebted to them for their service to the nation.